Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome to, uh... What is it? The X-Worlds of Torment by Nyan MC. I was warned that this game would, uh, be difficult if I'm not used to bullet hell games. Well, I've played Toho, and let me tell you, this game is probably going to destroy me. The adventure begins! I don't... One of the things I don't like about Super Mario Bros. X 2.0, especially recent versions of it, is that, uh... Oh no! Oh, uh, okay. I was gonna say a thing, and now I forgot what I was gonna say. Huh, that's interesting. Well, I guess I'm supposed to come back after I'm hitting various switch palaces. Anyway, one of the things I'm not not liking about Super Mario Bros. X 2.0 stuff is that they removed that nifty sound. Oh, I see those arrows show you where you can go when you start a level. Oh, I forgot to check out the name of this level. Airship of something. Ooh, I like this music. Oh, hey Yoshi, what's up? Huh, I thought those were turtle bombs. Okay, so. Because in Super Mario Bros. Nyan, how'd you uh, get in there? Well, you see, this ship really seems to hate furries. Therefore, they locked me up and put the key right in front of me. Could you open the door for me? Now that I'm out of the cell, you can have this. I would have used it myself, but only playables can you use these as scenes. I also might as well join you on your quest. Extra note, since you probably have to ditch Yossi, a second was provided here. Well, I didn't have to ditch Yoshi. Yoshi was just taken from me during a scene transition. All right, so. Wait, what's the name of this level? Airship of Containment. The Big Conspiracy. Hey Toad. Water is a conspiracy made by clinically insane people. It doesn't exist and you should feel bad for thinking it does. Oh, and so it doesn't exist. Huh. Interesting. I want to go back to this airship and snag me another Yoshi. I thought that down arrow meant that there was some secret hidden there. Alright, grab this. Hey you. Take that. Oh. Alright, let's try this again. Blammo! Let's make my descent. Alright, I don't think this level has a secret exit. So, let's go check out the big conspiracy. Hiya! Plonk. No. Hmm. All right. I'm not going to bother getting Yoshi again. Oh no. Using enemies that toss things might not have been the best idea. Especially when you have to go after one that's off screen. Hiya. I am sometimes able to avoid that by jumping Later, I guess? Hiya! Okay. Is there any way to hit the yellow switch?
Oh, hey. There is. Yes, there's a purple shell in this level. What is going on? Okay. So redo the airship of containment to get a Yoshi friend. A platforming game that requires me to actually stop and think about things. What is this madness? Like, not just things within a given level, but how levels relate to one another. <laughs> I am so good at this. Alright, so let's break that open. Wonder at why this warp takes the Yoshi away from me. Alright. So, according to uh, the lore behind this game, Mario was corrupted in previous Nyan MC games. And now Luigi's trying to save Mario. Okay, so. I appreciate how short the levels are in this game. I also like this rainbow. Like, Nyan just does good short levels, I feel. Like, each one is just directly to the point. Yellow Switch Highland. The level uses an off-screen exit. Great! Okay, so... I am so good at this. Really? That is interesting. Okay, I guess I no longer need that red shell. Oh no! Okay. I like how the trip back is just so different because... Oh, I also like that graphical... Like... You're flying, so the trip back is just way easier. Um, I can't move. Okay. And here I thought that this level would require the purple switch to, uh... Um... You know, get to the secret exit. Okay, so those don't have anything in them. So how does this actually change the level beyond, I mean, like that? That was a pretty minor change to the level. But... It takes this level from something that uh, I personally uh, unable to do. Woo! You know, something much more doable. What? Okay, I think I misunderstood something fundamental about this level. Huh! I hit the jump button, but missed. But, okay. Okay. This level is actually much more doable than I had first realized. 
And here I thought these enemies were just unafflicted by gravity. Okay. Haha. -ha. Okay. And now I'm riding on lava. Wah! Well, that actually had a lot more uh, give or let whatever than I thought. Okay, so let's go over here to Peach's Castle. Sure, I accept this. Ooh, I like this music. Hey, Nyan, what is up? I don't think I'd really be welcome into the castle after, you know, you're on your own. What if I go this way? Nope. Hey, Toads. I am loving the music here. Luigi is terrible. Mario is missing. Can you bring him back for us? Wasn't Mario already missing once? I seem to recall a whole game about, like, geography involving that premise. Alright, up next, Ruler of Unoriginality. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. With those bullets, you'd want to, and the fire flower, you'd want to hang out on top of the bullet cannon to, you know, avoid getting hit. But then the rinkas will hunt you down. A really simple boss. But I feel like it's an effective early game boss fight. Sparking Waters. Oh, okay. There is, in fact, waters here. Water still isn't real. Though, with this much water around, there could be some odd quirks with gravity. Yep. Luigi fell instead of walked onto the slope and I didn't let him touch the slope and just mash the jump button. <laughs> I am loving that gag. Like, I fi thought, oh, hey, it would be a one-off, but no. Hitting the yellow switch made this level actively easier by giving that one, one of those sparkies a longer route and the other a... Uh, inability to interact with me pop-up platform ocean very thoughtful to give access to this thing early jump through the palm of those platforms then you can stand oh right i remember these ah that was my own fault I didn't wait until I landed to try and jump. Okay. Okay. That works. I like that level. Again, it had its one big thing that it wanted to do and just went for it without a whole lot of chaff. Shiny, yet deadly desert. Mm. Be careful. Someone filled this area of the desert with shiny, yet deadly coins. You should be able to collect one without too much trouble, but too many will certainly kill you. You can, you can view how many coins you can still collect without dying via the coin counter. Oh, nice. I don't know how I would make that jump without these blocks here. Oh no! Well, I'm glad that Nyan filtered my power-up state. Oh no! Um... Oh, is there a se That's the secret exit. If you make it here without collecting any coins you can get the secret exit nice 
And then I'll get the regular exit so I don't have to remember that I missed it. This is a really cool gimmick and it's done really well. You know, a gimmick that I've wanted to do for a stage for a while is one where it's set up so that you can stand on coins, rupees, etc. And it's a vertical descent stage where you're trying to... Hey, you know, I can just take these three coins now. And it's a vertical descent stage where you're trying to get past the waves of coins and rupees that are holding you up. Unfortunately, I can't figure out a way to make that fun for me to play. Join me next time when I start a timed coin frenzy, I guess. I will see you then.